What's going on everybody? I'm Brad. This is Q Branch Woodworks. Today's turn is this very cool box that I've been calling the sleeve box because I honestly don't know what else to call it. Uh, the first time I saw a box of this sort of loose design, it was on Instagram. It was by a guy by the name of Horst Kontak. Uh, first of all, great name. Second of all, Mr. Kontak, great design. Uh, the idea being that the top of the box covers most, if not nearly all, of the bottom box. Um, and I've made some slight modifications to mine. Of course, I'm using my MDF Rose engine. Um, but overall, the design is pretty similar. So let's go ahead and get into today's turn. Okay, so the problem that I'm running into right now is that I can't tell if it's my fit that isn't perfect here or if I'm building up so much air pressure on the inside that I'm never gonna be able to get this lid onto this body. So I, I have a couple of choices here. Neither of them are particularly attractive, but I think that one makes more sense. So the, the options are I can drill a hole in the bottom, like just punch clean all the way through, uh, which I think would work. The other one is punch a hole in the top here so that I could allow the air to escape so I could at least check this fit. The reason I'm leaning towards the lid is because I can then set some sort of inlay in here, maybe do a little bit of a ornamentation on it, like make the, the lid look a little bit better. Uh, but then I have to figure out something that I can do for the inside of the top as well. I don't know, maybe a cabochon or something? Boy, I'm just really not sure. I have to think about this for a second. All right, I've, I've decided to drill through just to allow some air to escape, but I'm gonna try to do it with as small a bit as I can. That's pretty small, so I can either fill that or add a cabochon later. We'll, I don't know, we'll figure it out together, guys. I 
It was the fit. Shoot. I think we have quite a nice pattern going here. Uh, I'm probably not gonna sweat this too much because I figured out what I'm gonna do in the middle. I have this old cheese knife set, but it comes with this little tack. And I think what I can do is cut off the pointy bit, drop this into the middle and have this sort of act as a cabochon. So we will see how that goes. So if I were to do something like that. Right. We'll see if I can get it to stick. All right, and I'm just gonna let that cure for, I don't know, maybe even overnight. This seems stable enough, so I'm just gonna try to demount it. Oh boy. All right, this should be fun. I have adjusted the fit with a little bit of sanding. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but. All right, I could, I could do that literally all day. Now it's time to cut the small interior compartment. And the only thing I really know about this at this point is that I wanna make sure that I can get my small Nova jaws in here so that I don't need to use a, a jam check to refinish it later. So I'm just eyeballing the outside top to bottom. And I think that's gonna put us right about here. All right, let's get the hollow one. Awesome, so I have this nice rounded surface in here. Uh, since it's a little bit deep, I think that makes things. Uh, since it's a little bit deep, I think that, that makes things a little bit easier to grab out of the interior. Uh, so I'm just gonna sand this out really quickly and then flip it around and yeah, sort of decide what we want to do on the uh, on the bottom. The original box sort of has the uh, the bottom rounded off, so I think that that's that's roughly where I'm headed with this plan. But um, as with everything else in this shop, we'll just have to wait and see when we get there. All right, this wall is not super thick, so I'm gonna take it nice and easy on this stretch. I went ahead and left just a small flat spot on the bottom. If you want to get this exactly right, you know, sit it perfectly upright, uh, then you can. Otherwise, it'll sort of gently rock. And the, the hope here is that the rim of the other piece of the box will catch the box and stop it from tipping over fully. Um, we're gonna get some oil in this thing and then we'll, we'll test all of these assumptions out.
All right, and the, the concept itself worked. Check this out. The lid caught it. I didn't measure it or anything and it worked. I love it when that happens. Well, folks, that's it. Thanks so much for staying around to the end of the video. I really appreciate it. I am still just totally stuck on the fit here. This plug didn't totally work. Like there's a little bit of air that comes through here. All right, I gotta stop. Anyway, thank you so much for being here. Please be sure to like and subscribe and make sure that I can keep making videos for you. If you're new here, about once a week, I do a turn where I just turn something and we can have some fun looking at it. And about once a month, I do a tutorial of some kind so that we can learn a new skill together. Thanks so much for being here. I'm Brad, this is Q Branch Woodworks. You are awesome. I'll see you on the next one.